Hi, welcome to the Panama video. In this video, we're going to study the intro of Panama by Van Halen. And uh, it's mostly power chords with a little picking and strumming. And here we go. All right, we're going to start on the seventh fret. So take your first finger and place it on the seventh fret. String five. One, two, three, four, five. String number five. That's called our root note. That note is E, and uh, this is an E major chord. So this is the root note E, seventh fret, string five. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to take finger three, and we're going to flatten it out, and we're going to cover several strings. We're going to cover the fourth string. We're going to cover the third string. We're going to cover the second string. It's okay if you cover the first string too, but, you know, we're not really going to hit the first string with our pick anyways. So, if you cover the first string, great. If you don't press string one down all the way, that's okay too. We really want to make sure you cover the fourth string, the third string, and the second string. So, this finger is covering three strings in a row. you got to flatten it out. It's like a bar chord. Okay, so we've uh, got the first four notes of the song, which makes an E major chord. If this was tab, it would say 7, 9, 9, 9. And our pick is hitting just the four inside strings of the guitar. All right, let's move on now. So after we've strummed that chord once, the next move is to strike the low E string with the palm U. Okay, and so I'm just going to let go of the chord here. I'm going to stop squeezing. So let me demonstrate that. I've played the chord. Now I'll stop squeezing. That cuts off the notes of the chord. Then I play the low E with my palm mute. There we go. So that's the first part of the tune. Okay, now let's take a closer look at what my pick's doing. All right, so I'm going to start the tune with my hand pretty close to the bridge, or maybe even just very lightly resting on the bridge, but not on the strings yet. Okay, so I've strummed my chord, then I let go of the chord, then I put my palm on the low E string for two hits on the low E. All right, now it's time to move on to the next chord. It's going to be the same fingering that I just played right here, except we're going to add in one additional note. We're going to take the pinky finger and we're going to press it down on the second string that's on fret 10. And we get this note. It's a high A. Okay, now that turns this chord into an E suspended chord. Okay, let go of the chord and strike your low E two more times with your palm mute. Okay, now let's move on to the next chord. The next chord is a bar chord. So you'll have to take your first finger and set it across five of the strings like this. I'm not uh, covering the low E string, but I am covering the other five strings straight across the seventh fret. So I've got five strings pressed down there. Okay, and then my next finger to place is the middle finger. It's going to play on the eighth fret, string three. And then I'm going to place my third finger next. That's going to play on the fourth string, fret nine. Okay, and this gives us kind of a E major seven, or maybe it's an E major nine. Okay, then of course let go of the chord and strike your low E two more times. Okay, now at this point in the tune, We've covered the first three chords. And now, um, Eddie's going to go back and repeat the first couple chords again. A little bit differently, though. So go back to the first chord of the song. Strike the chord, but only give it one low E palm mute this time. Then do the E suspended chord with your pinky. 
strike the chord and give it one low E palm mute. Alright, so, so far we've covered this. Here it goes from the top. I think he plays this uh, E major chord one more time. There we go, so we've covered the entire intro. Here's what it sounds like played real fast. Okay, and here's what it sounds like played real slow. Okay, now I'm going to turn at a different angle so you can see my fingering this way. Here it goes. All right, so we've covered the entire first measure of the tune. At this point in the song, Eddie's going to take his chord and just move it over two frets. So now we're going to play a D major chord, which starts on fret 5, and this part is almost the same, except you just uh, cut it short a little bit. You play the first chord, you play the pinky finger, then you play the major 9 chord, and that's as far as you go. You don't play the rest. So it is identical to what you've played before, you just cut it in half. So let's cover all that again. So you're on a fifth fret. This is, I guess, what you call an extended power chord. It's a D major chord. Strike the chord. Let go of the chord. Give it two palm mutes on the low E. Add the pinky finger. Let go of the chord. Give it two palm mutes. Play the major nine bar chord. Just let it ring. This time you don't let go. And he fills in the space here with an open B hit, just plain old open B string. And if you have a whammy bar, do a whammy bar dive with your open B. So I don't have a whammy bar on this guitar, so I can't demonstrate that. But it's just an open B hit. Grab your whammy bar, push it down. Okay, and then you're going to repeat the whole riff the exact same way. Except this time you don't do an open B whammy bar dive, you do a pick slide. So just grab your pick, set it on the strings like this, and slide it across the strings and make the ugliest, most rockinest sound you can make. Of course, you, you don't want to go all the way down to the end of the guitar. It's all right just to go about halfway down the string. You don't want to leave your hand way out of position, so maybe go about to the 12th fret is about as far as you'd want to go. Uh, here's a tip on pick slides. If you start fast and then slow down, you sound more like Van Halen. So as you motion your hand across the string, it's not all played at the same speed. It's not necessarily like this. It's more like start fast, go slow. So start it fast and then slow down and go slower and slower. Like you're driving your car and you're coming up to a stop sign. So you're going fast and then slow down, slow down, slow down. That's what makes it sound more like the CD. <laughs> So you can tell I started real fast, and then I slow down, slow down, slow down. So the end is very slow. If you just do the whole thing at one speed, it doesn't sound as cool. It just sounds annoying. So fast and then slow. Okay, that was the whole intro. And so I'm going to play the whole thing one more time, super slow motion. Here it goes.
Okay, see you in part two.